Hey guys, what is up, and welcome back to some more Transistor. Okay, Let's just uh, get Road into to High Rise should be right around the corner. Heads up. These are new. Dodge most attacks, but vulnerable afterwards. Really? about this.
guessing this is like a hub then. You know it's a little sparse, but this isn't that bad. It's no cloud bank though. Process. Get ready. Oh, jeez, please. Um, and they give you bounce will strike up to six targets sequentially. how many there are, I'll give it a try. Real man's try.
information here. on their own turf. Thought there'd be more of them. You want there to be more? Music to unlock and circles. Cool, so you unlock music. Now I want to know what's in door number two. Hello, what's this? Process will spawn shielded cells when terminated. What? Use a level bonus. Ah, oh, plus one limiter now in use. I see. Spawn shielded cells when terminated. Well, let's see what this does. Unarmored frame cannot detect cover. happened in here let me actually remove this because I'm not sure if this charm I'll leave the charm but uh, let's see what I can put this on stun breach will stun and disrupt targets or render targets invulnerable on top of the base damage target is immobilized and they're invulnerable I don't know if I want that that seems kind of foolish. Will stun and disrupt. Breach will stun and disrupt targets, exposing vulnerabilities. I could slap that on breach. I wonder what happens if I were to put this Switch will gain greater maximum range and penetrate through targets. Meh. It's not that serious. I want two attacks. That's the problem. So I'm going to have to take Charm off. seconds I'm gonna put on a breach just to see if I can get enemies to like have a sort of a ball a bar bra all set they can do their worst
still getting used to the buttons.
first use this, it should buy me some time. Much nicer last time we were here. You watch true. Hey there, little guy. You lost? No? We better move. Get him. I don't think I want that to hit me. Volatile package strike packet to produce a large blast. Increase the area of effect of most functions. Ooh, that's actually uh hmm. <clears throat> I might find more usefulness out of bounce for right now, but low does sounds like it has its benefits. Form a volatile packet. Actually, I don't really play like this anyway, so I'm just gonna use this. Mission. Opens passive slot one for use with any function. Interesting. I'll take it. Select the limiter. Ah, oh, the process will sometimes spawn twin cells when terminated. Ooh, that is will strike with twice as much power. Which one gives me the highest? This one gives me the highest level bonus. You know what? I really like a challenge. It's getting late. The street should be packed. Twice as much power. This is gonna force me to learn how to play. <laughs> Red, get out of there.
caught out. Quarterly solstice by choosing your favorite evening sky color. The sky looks blue because we want it to. Let's make it orange. Orange? Okay. Now then. Back to the scene. Let's check out this limiter. Yes. <laughs> This one is uh, kind of annoying. I'm not sure if I really want it on. Cells, they spoil, they spoil like, well, like anything that spoils, except for, except instead of spoiling, they, they, they become something else, something they don't seem to want to be. This is no convert, this is no conversion, but a total metamorphosis. It cannot be reversed as far as I can tell. Once the cell is shifted into this form, then all that remains is it is for it to expel its stored potential like a last breath back into the ether, I suppose. Some form of self-defense. Hmm. I guess that's a an allusion to the fact that Oh gosh, no, what is this? What is this? What's going on here? I didn't want this. Will strike with twice as much power. Oh, that's the uh, okay. I see. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't want no damn jerks. Uh, is this charm thing working really well? This copy thing, I haven't even really. Sybil Rise, life of the party. She was bad news from the first. Known in elite circles throughout Cloud Bank, with Sybil Rise. Rays, I would suppose, organized many of the city's popular public events, from groundbreaking ceremonies to contemporary festivals. She was everywhere, and yet somehow she made time to lead a second hidden life. As one of the camarada, Ms. Rays was responsible, was responsible for gathering information about potential high-value targets, people who could contribute to their cause. She did this job to perfection, drawing no notice, notice though one target in particular caused her much frustration. And I'm guessing it's me. I'm guessing it's me. You know what? I am... Actually, whoa, wait, what? Did I read that right? Summon a hearty, disappearing friend that deals greater backstab damage. So the friend still attacks. Summon two smaller friends, cap each capable of planning in turn. Okay, I see. That's interesting. Whoops, no, 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 go back. Go back. I want to try that out. No. Ugh. Move that. I want to install you, baby. A new passive slot. What is this? Huh? Gain a 25% chance to become a super user on using turn. What the hell is a super user? This game. Install that, baby. Stealth on target elimination moves speed. Become undetectable and faster after eliminating targets for two seconds. It's not really worth it. Especially when you get a friend who can... You see what I'm saying? That's not really worth it. Ah, uh, we're coming up to what I hate the most. Let me see how this one acts. Gain a deflecting shield that negates damage to the user. This would actually be very, very useful. She 
shield cooldown is five seconds. Yeah, let me actually use it. I wondered if we get any more slots here. Gain damage resistance and immunity to all slowing effects. Gain more planning potential in turn. Spawn a copy when attacked, diverting nearby targets. Recover more quickly after using turn. Become undetectable and faster after eliminating targets. Spawn a friendly bad cell when retrieving cells. Hmm. 25 chance to become a super user, deflecting shit. We'll see how this works, and obviously, if it's not uh, too great, I gotta fix it. Guess who? Damn. 
job, boy. I don't like this. Hold on, I want to try something. Hey! Is anyone out there? I thought so. Don't get me wrong, but I was hoping for something that would be a bit more, um, I don't even know what to say. Summon a hardy friend whose bark chains between targets. Stealth on target elimination, bark backstab, friend life plus 200%. Good lord. Chain multiple nearby targets, number of jumps. I think I'm going to use it on this. Damn, the damage is hella reduced. Try it out, see what happens. Yikes. They got more friends. Run. Just run. Made it. That was 50 of them back there. Maybe more. seconds. Let's see how quick we can do this. Oh gosh. Okay. Pocket spawn with the boat and that may be
Only better. No kidding. Door number three. Let's see what this is. We're surrounded. Terminate the Masai in one turn. I like how you can't just. But do wait, all there's the more. You kind of have to build. It's like, it's like the challenges build up with your experience. Yep, more sand. Something's changed. Try your moves. So I have that. Charm, which is. I forgot I could just do that. She, I'm pretty sure she'll just beeline it there. The fastest. Yep, she takes the fastest position or fastest path. Shortest path, rather. To your. Okay, I'll remember that. Not to mention it would it would have helped. Anyway, got charm and that decoy. Decoy, I mean stealth. an edge then we might as well
back to reality. Okay, back on track. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll stick by in the next video, and I will see you till then. Adios.